Let's head into this newscast with all the latest coming in on Israel elections. In a surprise twist to the political deadlock in Israel, it is sitting Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu who's projected to emerge as the winner in Israel's hat-trick of elections. But exit polls indicate that he could still end up struggling to overhaul the majority mark. On your screens, you're going to see uh, the exit poll numbers. The far-right bloc led by Netanyahu's Likud party is expected to win around 59 seats, which is two less than the majority mark. The opposing bloc, led by the Blue and White Alliance, is projected to win 54 seats. And just like last time, Avigdor Liberman and his Israel Betenu have emerged as the possible kingmaker with seven seats. Now, there were major celebrations at the Likud party headquarters. As Benjamin Netanyahu arrived, the Prime Minister thanked the voters for giving him what he called a huge victory for Israel. Netanyahu vowed to form a strong national government after speaking to all the right-wing parties in Israel. He has promised to come good on his campaign promises, which include the annexation of the West Bank and the revival of the economy. This could, however, be easier said than done. If these exit poll numbers hold, then Netanyahu is still two seats short. And the obvious person the Prime Minister will turn to is Avigdor Liberman. But Liberman has ruled out joining Netanyahu's bloc. He says he will only support a unity government. While these numbers indicate a mandate inclined towards Netanyahu, it is by no means conclusive. And experts believe the political deadlock could very well continue. Over in the blue and white headquarters, the scene was exactly the opposite. Speaking to his supporters, Benny Gantz said that he was disappointed by the exit polls and said he hoped the actual results would be different. At the same time, he promised to continue his opposition to Netanyahu, who will stand on trial a few weeks from now. I לתחושת האכזבה והכאב, כי זאת לא התוצאה שאולי היינו רוצים שתקרה, ואם אלה תהיינה התוצאות, זו גם לא התוצאה שתחזיר את מדינת ישראל לדרך המלך. But there are already signs of cracks within the Blue and White Alliance. Ahmed Tibi, a leader of the Arab Joint List, has slammed Gans for his failure and asked him to take responsibility.